Hi guys, today I wanted to film a what is in my backpack video. I used to film these a lot when I was in school and although I'm no longer a student, I thought it'd be fun to just show you guys what I would carry if I were still to be a student and also what I do carry at a cafe getting some work done. I still really love to watch what's in my backpack and what's in my bag videos. So if you're like me, keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. So this is my backpack. I've actually carried this around since college. I bought this on Amazon, so I'll be sure to try to find the link. But it's a pretty sturdy backpack. I will say one of the downfalls about this backpack is it doesn't have like the water bottle inserts on the side. So it's a pretty practical and minimal design, and I do like the layout. If I were to be out and about, I would be carrying this tumbler of mine. It is from Awala. I love it so much. So I have that in my hand, but that would be one of my necessities. 100% please keep a water bottle. I drink lots of liters of water in a day and it's good to be hydrated. So this is what the backpack looks like. And then you can go ahead and detach the Velcro. In the very back, I carry my MacBook Pro. This is the M1 chip. I got this, I think two years ago and I've been loving it. It's a little heavier than prior MacBook models, but it's a powerhouse. I use this to edit as my main device. It works wonders for anything personal work, business related, so I love carrying this around and it is crucial for me. Next in the back pocket, I have my iPad. This is the iPad Pro in the 11 inch model. I think I got this also around two or three years ago and attached is a Logitech combo touch keyboard case except the keyboard is not attached right now normally the pencil is attached but i believe it's in my pencil case or i left it somewhere else this is my ipad it's great and i use this for entertainment purposes and then also just like note taking using it for school is great because GoodNotes was the main app I would use for college lectures. And I actually still use the GoodNotes app right now for my readings that I have for a yoga teacher training certification. Oh, this is actually where my pencil is, so that's good to know. And then I also carry a 0.5 Pilot G2. Did not know that that was there. And then I have this mini notebook. This is actually a notebook that I have just to like write down my random thoughts. I have only a couple pages left. In case I wanna just jot something down that's miscellaneous, I put it in here. So I feel like it's nice to always have a notebook to carry. And then academically, because I don't have physical notebooks, I would use my iPad to use as my separate electronic notebooks. So moving right along, I carry my diary slash planner. And on the front cover, it's a photo with my parents and my grandparents and I. We took this photo during the winter time when I visited for my grandpa's 90th birthday and I just think it's a really cute photo booth little strip and I wanted to attach it to the front because I miss them and anytime I get to open up my notebook I think of them. I actually write everything in my life. I'm a huge believer that having a planner or having a calendar to keep you on track is what will really motivate you to stay organized. Typically every Sunday night I like to plan out what's going to happen for the rest of the week. This blank planner is from Muji. I love it so much. This is what the typical layout looks like for the monthly section. And then as for the weekly section, this is what it looks like. So it has just the week layout. And again, I handwrite everything here. And then there's a blank page. So I like to write to do's of the week on this side. And then I just jot down the basics of how to get those to-dos to fit into my to-dos of the week. As for any key events, I like to write them in the monthly. And then on the very back of this planner, there is just blank grid paper if you want to write anything, which I have. And it's really nice to just have all of this in one. Next, I have my pencil case, super crucial, in order to write out all my things for my planner and my notebook. This is a pencil case that I got from my friend like six years ago, and I've been using it ever since. He got this from Korea, and it's really nice. Really quickly, I have a bunch of different types of pens in here and they're all black. 0.5 Muji blank one. This is 0.38. It's almost gone and this is the one I use every single day. So I need to get new refill ink for it. Another Muji 0.7. I have another Muji 0.5. A Pilot G207. I have a Sharpie. A whiteout. I have this thing that I got from Daiso and I thought I would use it like every day. It's giving like gua sha but for your hands. But like on pressure points. I don't use it. So maybe I don't need it, but it's kind of just cute there too because it's like a nice bear. So I've just, I've just had it ever since. This is just like nice page dividers. My planner has those. So it's really nice for me to divide them like that. Pink little page holder. And then I have a pen holder for my notebooks that this is also from Muji. If I were to just want to attach my pen real quick, I could put this on here to my notebook and slide in. 
I will say it's not really sturdy because it kind of falls off easily so that's why it's in my pencil case but if I really do need to be on the go and I don't want to hold that much then I will use it. So that was a brief rundown of what's in my pencil case. Now I know you guys are probably thinking Kristen you don't really have much color in your pencil case and that's fine because I do have other color pens that I would keep in my backpack. This one is from Muji again, and these are the 0.5 series. I got this jumbo pack uh, when I was in London, and it's really nice to just like play around with planning out my week or jotting down notes in different colors. I feel like it keeps you more entertained and it just looks more aesthetically pleasing. Then I have my Kindle. I would say if I am not doing anything school related or work related, it would be nice to keep myself busy with reading. I just literally downloaded this book, so I haven't read yet, but I've heard great things about the design of everyday things. This is by Don Norman. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Having my Kindle would be crucial in my backpack to keep me scholarly. Next in the back of my backpack pocket are my glasses. I feel like glasses just always make me look like 10 times smarter. And then we have this side pocket right here. And in here I carry a claw clip because I have long hair now and it's really nice to have my hair back because my hair can get all sweaty behind my neck and I hate it. Then I have my phone. This is my iPhone 13 Pro and I have a pop socket of a Pungo Bang. If you guys know, it's so good. And then the case in itself has like kitties together and it's actually really cute. And finally, my AirPod Pros. Put stickers on them because I love to decorate. Lastly, into this pocket. First up I have is gum. I love gum and having a big pack like this you're the plug and you're the best friend that any friend group can have if you're passing this around at least that's how i grew up in school this is the trident vibes spearmint rush and i would say that this is actually one of my recent favorites i like how it's similar to the icebreaker bubbly chewy gum that comes in like a square container like this but that one loses flavor pretty quickly and like the chewiness gets pretty hardened but this one's remained consistent and in flavor for a lot longer so i've grown to really appreciate this one. Then I have this black pouch. Got it from Muji. Do you guys like have a idea of what is a brand I really like? Because I'm not sure. I carry floss. Floss is super, super important to have. You don't want something to be stuck in your teeth all day long and you're just like working at it the entire day. So having floss will be your best friend. Go to the bathroom real quick, zhuzh it up, and your teeth will be dazzling. Next, I have a mirror. This is a hand mirror, and I like how it has the little cover. And at the front, it says, be happy. Then I have these pimple patches. Super crucial to have, too. And the chance that you're breaking out somewhere and you just need a cover it up. I have a q-tip and these are the q-tips where they have like the seal on so it's not as unsanitary. And then I have two lip products in here. The first one is the Dior Lip Plumping Gloss and I think this is number nine Intense Rosewood. And then I have the Roman Lasting Melting Balm in Kaya Fig, number six. These are my two go-to colors. This one, I love how plumping it is and it makes my lips look super glossy. And then this one's just like a nice lip balm consistency but also has a nice shine to it. Highly recommend. Also, really crucial items to have are feminine products on the off chance that you don't know when your period's coming, if a friend had their period start with, without them knowing too. Just being prepared for that time of the month is always better and scrambling around. The ones that I use are the Honey Pot Pads and Cora Tampons, which both are organic, and I really, really suggest going for organic feminine products. Next, I have a little coin pouch, and it also has a little bit of cash inside. And then I also have a mini perfume. This is from Way. This is Melrose Place. I also have a dongle in here for my earbuds. Yeah. This is a cute little coin pouch I got from Hawaii. It says my sweet time Hawaii and it's a cute tan Snoopy <laughs> earbuds for my laptop or let's say my AirPods are dead. Then I could attach the dongle from my coin pouch and plug them into my phone. That is everything in my backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If there is anything that I happen to miss that you think I should also carry in my backpack, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Also be of help for someone else if they're viewing the comments. Happy back to school season to those who have started school and to those who have yet. I'm sending all the good vibes your way. I hope today's video was helpful and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!